तो स्टूडेंट्स द लास्ट पार्ट और द लास्ट प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ लाइन विल बी डीलिंग विद द प्रॉब्लम विच स्टेट एलिवेशन ऑफ अ लाइन पी क्यू इज सेवेंटी फाइव एम एम सो दे हैव गिवन ई एल एंड इज इनक्लाइन टू फोर्ट टू एक्स वाई लाइन एट फोर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज ओके सो वॉट दे हैव गिवन इज एक्चुअली आल्फा ओके एंड पी इज ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम अबाउ एच पी and end q is 10 mm behind vp so point p is definitely in the first or second quadrant while as point q is definitely in second or third quadrant as per the definitions or as per the positions that they have given but we don't know like where, where exactly is that point draw the projections length of the line pq is 95 mm so they have given the true length that is fvtl and tvtl and point q now they are specifying the location of point q in particular so they are saying the point q is in the third quadrant so now point q is fixed and since it is in the third quadrant point q we have the locus of b above xy and locus of b dash below xy okay but till now we don't know where the point p is whether it is in the first quadrant or it is in the second quadrant okay let's see what happens now find the inclination of the line pq with hp so they are asking us to identify theta okay so that's the problem so guys to start the problem first of all we will uh, draw an xy line that i have already drawn for you guys then i will take an n projector of p near the left end of the xy line that is also i have taken now on the end projector of p we have to locate the first point that is p dash now they have taken p dash is about 25 mm hp so i will measure 25 mm above xy line something like this 25 mm over here okay i will draw the locus of p dash so let me give it to the name this is point p dash over here and this is locus of p dash okay secondly they have stated that the point q is 10 mm behind vp when i say it is behind vp and it is in the third quadrant as they have stated i have to draw 10 mm above xy so again on xy i will take 10 mm so something like that over here we know okay i will be drawing a random line locus of q okay this is locus of q i don't know where exactly the point q is just i will mention q okay now they have stated that the elevation of line pq is 75 mm okay since the elevation of line pq is 75 mm i have to take another point on elevation which is 75 mm or 7.5 cm okay on the locus of p dash so on the locus of p dash we have received an elevation length el whose name is p dash q2 dash okay then problem states that once you receive p dash q2 dash okay you have to draw you have to draw a projector from this q2 dash on your locus of q to get point q2 so i will draw a projector over here okay and this my friend is point q2 okay now this q2 point is important because this q2 point will be the end of my top view true length okay still we don't know where this uh, exact line will be but okay no problem let's see what we can do about it okay we know that point q is in the third quadrant that means q dash locus of q dash will be on the down side 
okay and we know that it makes an angle of 45 degree the front view makes an angle of 45 degrees so let's take a protractor and let's draw a line making 45 degrees with the locus of p dash so this is 45 degree ka point okay so i'll be drawing a line starting from p dash and making angle 45 degrees so something like this okay and then i'll be using my rounder to locate front view okay so i'll be placing my rounder on p dash i'll be measuring the distance equal to my el okay so here it is and then i'll be rotating it on this newly drawn line okay to locate my front view okay so i will name front view p dash q dash p dash q dash okay and i will draw this line in a red color to highlight so this p dash q dash is my front view front view okay since now i have received a point of q dash i can draw the locus of q dash a line passing through q dash and horizontal parallel to xy okay this is locus of q dash okay now i know that the true length is 95 mm okay so i will take 95 mm in my rounder so it is 95 mm over here i have taken slightly lesser i have to increase the distance a little bit okay now I will take the rounder and cut on the locus of Q dash to get point Q1 dash. So this is point Q1 dash. Okay. What do we get by this? If I connect P dash Q1 dash, as you are already aware, because we have so, uh, drawn so many problems, this P dash Q1 dash is my front view true length and this angle is theta this is what they actually want the angle of pq with respect to hp okay but nevertheless now we have to complete this problem but we don't know where exactly is our point of reference so for that what we have to do is i will have to draw an end projector of q over here passing through q dash and we know that the end projector always passes through both the points q dash and q okay so the intersection of locus of q and this end projector of end projector of q e p q is our required point small q so here is my end of top view okay but still I don't know where the exact point is okay I don't know where point P lies okay and for that what I'll be doing is I'll be using the same length that is front view true length and we know that top view true length and front view true length they are equal so I will put my rounder on Q2 and instead of identifying the location of Q1 I will draw two cuts okay one above one below okay why why do we get these two cuts okay because if the problem is or the point p is in the first quadrant then p will be downwards over here but if the pro pro point p is in the second quadrant the p will be above here okay so i will name these points in a two different ways okay i will call this point as p and this above point as p bar okay both are the possible solutions 
Now I have to draw the locus of P and locus of P bar. So first I will draw locus of P over here and then I will draw locus of P bar over here. Okay, let me name them properly. So this is locus of P and this is locus of P bar. Now, to finalize this problem, what do I have to do? If I connect this PQ, okay, I will draw it in green. If I connect this PQ and PQ2, PQ and PQ2, this is my top view. And this is my top view true length. This angle is beta, this angle is phi. Okay. This solution is true. The green solution is true. Green is correct. If point P is in first quadrant. Okay. However, there is another solution possible. And that solution is if you connect this P dash Q, okay, I'll draw it in the different color. If you connect this P dash Q and if you connect P dash Q2, okay, this will be my top view and this will be my top view true length. And this angle will be beta. And this angle will be phi. Okay, so there are two possible solutions for this exact same problem. I would say blue is correct. If point P, if P is in second quadrant. Okay, now the fun is if you measure phi or beta, so I will be measuring over here. So my phi is nothing but around 37 degrees in the green solution. If I measure in the blue solution, I must get an exact same value. And yes, it is exactly same 37 degrees. So what do we learn from this? There can be more than one possible solutions. So phi is 37 degrees. Okay. But they have asked the angle with respect to HP. So we can actually calculate all the possible angles. That is not an issue. Okay. Let me mark this angle also. This is alpha and this is as per 45 degrees as per the problem. Okay, so this is the special case. Why? Because for this one problem, there are more than one correct solutions.